skilled hockey team and they work hard. Uh, obviously, they're going to get their chances. Um, it's just trying to limit those, and I think we did a pretty good job of that tonight. Elvis had some great saves. Um, but I think as a team, that's a step in the right direction. You know, how we have to forecheck, how we have to play in the neutral zone. Um, wasn't perfect by any means, but uh, you could see we were creating offense when, you know, when we were getting pucks in deep and, and forechecking and being being stiff through the neutral zone. So um, just got to keep building on it. Uh, we got a couple days here but before our next game. So I think it's good for us to just kind of sit back and, and take away positives from it. Thanks, Steve. Okay. Finally, we'll go to Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah, is, uh, can you just take us through your goal a little bit there and just that whole sequence and that it looked like it was a nice feed from uh, Texier there off the left wing. Yeah, um, you know, we were in the zone for a little bit there, kind of moving around. Um, uh, Jonesy was kind of moving on the blue line and forwards were working really hard down below the goal line and that's where we have success. And um, I, think, I think Boone kind of tips it maybe out to Tex. I don't really remember the play fully. Um, and then I saw an opening and Tex makes a, a great play right in my wheelhouse. And, um, they don't have to do too much, just put it on that. Has Texier impressed you uh, with his, uh, I mean, he's got uh, scoring going on so far in these first six games. Have you, have you, uh, you guys been impressed with the way he's been able to do that in his second year? Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, Flaky's behind the camera. Doing something. <laughs> but, um, but no, yeah, we're, I'm really impressed with Texas here. You know, I think last year he was really hard working. Um, you could tell he had that skill, and I think it's showing this year. Um, you know, with how hard he works, he's deserving everything he's getting right now. Um, you know, I and mean, when guys work that hard, obviously you root for them, and um, we're glad he's on our team. You know, it's, it's a tough guy to, to go against with how hard he works. You guys get 13 guys on the score sheet today. Um, just how big is that to be able to get everybody clicking and get so much balance? Well, I think that's that's just who we are. You know, when you look at our lineup, uh, when we get contributions from everybody and we're playing the right way, uh, usually guys are touching the score sheet a little bit more. And, you know, you saw that tonight. It was just every line was bringing something. And that's how complete we can be when we play that style of game that we, we need to play where we're, we're just hard, we're heavy, uh, we clog things up. And, and, and then all of a sudden we get to pounce on opportunities. And I thought we did a great job of that, you know, and not opening ourselves up. You know, that's a good team over there. They're going to find their chances. Um, but I thought we did a really good job of, of just understanding when to go and, and when to press. And, uh, and you could see, uh, you know, the, the style of, of hockey that we're used to playing here a, a, as a team uh, really come out today. Uh, you guys obviously don't get a chance to play Winnipeg very often, but you, we all know how good line A is. Um, with Jack Rosovic, he's been a guy who in the offseason has skated around here locally quite a bit. Have you had a chance to skate with him at all locally, and do you know him a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've skated with him uh, every time I've come back. He would be around, and uh, obviously, uh, he just he loves the city. He's a hometown boy, and uh, I'm, I'm sure he's thrilled. I haven't had a chance to talk to him, but I know he always jokingly would say it would be nice to play in his hometown team, and, and here he is. So, um, pretty pretty great story, I think, to have a, a locally grown player uh, play in this in this organization. A uh, guy that grew up here and, and went through the minor systems, and and now has a chance to play for the the to the top team in Columbus. I think that's a, an awesome story. And a lot of people I'm sure are proud along the way to have been a part of his. So I'm sure he's going to come in here and, and, and do his best. And, and we're thrilled to have him and obviously Lion A as well. And just knowing what he brings to our team, it's uh, it's exciting. Jax, you did a lot of work to uh, set up Zach's goal. I'm wondering if you could just kind of take us through that a little bit and tell us what you saw as you were looking for, for the pass that ultimately led to Zach's goal. Oh, yeah, nothing special. I was behind the net, tried to give it to Bjorki, and he missed the net, and uh, I got it uh, on the other side from uh, behind the net, and Z was open, so I just give it to him, and, uh, yeah, he's a How much, uh, player, so it was, yeah. Sorry for interrupting. How much, how much gratification comes with setting up a goal like that? Again, given the, the amount of work it took to create that play. Yeah, I think that that's good, but that's what I learned uh, last year, you know? Made, made a good play, but uh, that's that, that's behind me. I mean, uh, yeah, that's that's a good thing, but uh, you know, I have to do it again uh, ne the next game. You know, it's uh, you know, big 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 win for us tonight, but uh, we have to keep going. Not only a big win tonight, but over the two games, you take three points from the defending Stanley Cup champs. What does that do for uh, for the team's confidence? Maybe from your confidence as well. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge, but. Uh, we only play a couple of games, so we have to, you know, 
find find our game. We we play better tonight, but uh, we I think we can still still be better on the on the next one.